Hi Red Class, hope you're keeping safe and well. You're certainly keeping very busy. Mrs Holl and I have been looking at all the amazing work that you put on Purple Mash. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of it. It's keeping us very busy, thank you very much. We've also managed to ring some of your homes and speak to some of your adults. And sometimes we've even managed to speak to you if you've been brave enough to come to the phone. And that is fantastic because we haven't seen you for so long. So it's lovely to hear your voices. Now, we haven't managed to ring everybody yet because there's lots and lots of you and it's taking us quite a long time. But over the next couple of weeks, we will make sure we speak to every house. This week, some of the work we've asked you to do is to do with the creation story. The creation story is all about how God made our world. And I thought I would share this book with you, The Creation Story for Children, because it has such lovely pictures. So God made our world in seven days. And we're going to look at each day and what he made. And this is the first day. What do you think he was making on the first day? If you look at the white bit of this picture particularly, that's right, he was making light. And this is what it says in the Bible about that. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Day two. What does that look like to you? What do you think he might be making on day two? What do you see overhead in God's big sky? Clouds are formed when billions of water droplets come together. Water fills up the clouds and they fall to the earth as rain or snow. So that's what God was making on day two. He was making the sky and he was putting clouds and water in it. He was also putting water somewhere else. That's right, he was putting water on the earth, in the oceans. Water is so important. No plant or animal or person can live without water. Our bodies need water to drink even more than we need food to eat. Do you enjoy drinking water? Do you ever swim in a lake or watch a waterfall or walk on a beach as the waves roll on the shore? God said all the water was good and we can't live without it. Day three. God gave us many different kinds of plants and flowers and trees to make our world beautiful. Fruits and vegetables help our bodies grow strong. And every plant produces a special seed that grows into a new plant. How many of these plants do you eat? Day four. On day four, God made the sun, the moon and billions of stars to show us how strong and mighty he is. Even with the most powerful telescope, no one finds the end of the universe. If you get a chance and your adult says it's okay, have a look at the sky tonight and see what you can see. This is day five. What was he making on day five? God made so many sea creatures from the great whale to tiny, tiny, tiny little creatures that you have to see with a microscope. They have interesting shapes and colours. They have different fins and tails to help them swim. Some sea creatures live in a shell. Some look like stars. Do you have a favourite sea creature? He was also busy making things that fly in the sky. That's right, he was making lots and lots of birds. God gave birds lightweight hollow bones so they could fly up high. 
God also created lots of different wings and beaks and claws and feathers of every colour. All birds lay eggs, each with their own colour and size. God also gave birds their own musical chirps and squawks and songs for us to enjoy. Day six. What amazing animals God made. Animals that stomp and hop and run and jump and crawl and walk and swim. Thousands of different animals and a million different kinds of insects roam our earth. Can you notice their different shapes and colours? They have different tails and noses and ears. Do you think any of those would make a good pet? Day He also made two very special people. I wonder if any of you know the name of those two special people. Now God takes extra time to make a man and a woman. Think of how different people are from all, uh, from all other creatures. God gave people the ability to smile and to talk, to laugh and cry. We can make and build things and with our big imaginations, we can think big thoughts. So thank you, God, for making all of us people so very special. Now, if you were keeping up with that, this is day six. Does somebody know what God did on day seven? There's the picture. That's right. God had a rest. God said it's very important for all creatures to rest. If we don't take time to rest, what happens to us? We get grouchy, we get worn out. Sometimes we might get a little bit sick too. So how can you take time to enjoy God, to enjoy each other and to enjoy all of his creations? Now, hopefully that will inspire you with the job that we've asked you to do this week and that job is to make a creation mobile now i've had a little bit of help with my creation mobile i've asked my daughter poppy to help me with mine and here it is so she's made me a big cloud and we've written god created in the middle of that and then she's made cards with numbers on and the numbers are for the days of the week and then she's written or drawn the things that God made on those days. And here she's used some stickers. She's found some stickers for day three when he made the plants. So we would like you to make your own creation mobile. It can be like mine and Poppy's, which is 2D and flat. Or it could be a 3D one that you make with junk modelling or maybe Play-Doh or maybe a little bit of clay. We'd love to see how imaginative you are using your big imaginations and thinking big thoughts. Can't wait to see what you get up to. Have a good week. Keep safe. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.